Before we get on to the subject of coins today, I just want to say a big g'day from Sydney, Australia. I've just been there for the last few days, which explains maybe why I've been a little bit more quiet. So uh, this is Darling Harbour in uh, Sydney and uh, had a really good time as a tourist for a day just after my conference. I thought I'd show you a few of the little pictures I took and then we'll move on to the subject of today's coins. And a big thank you to China Eastern for getting me safely home via Shanghai. Very long journey, but um, pretty good airline for uh, low fares to Australia. So welcome back, YouTubers, and welcome to uh, the more official part of today's video. Just want to get back into the swing of things by showing you a few bits and pieces that have arrived and um, you can let me know what you think. The coins that are in this first packet have arrived for consignment to Heritage auctions. So if you haven't come across Heritage before, they are probably pretty much the biggest collectibles auction company in the world based out of Texas and I act as a consignment agent for the UK. Um, and it's quite a useful service for people who maybe don't have quite enough coins to consign by themselves because there's a minimum, but um, want to go through a trusted intermediary to consign coins. And uh, I've done quite a few auctions now with Heritage, and uh, a lot of the coins have got a pretty reasonable uh, amount of money and I think for those of us in the UK who want to have access to a world market for our coins and collectibles and who want to get paid out in US dollars particularly with the kind of exchange rates there are around at the moment um, this uh, service is uh, commended to you and I'm happy to hear from any of you out there particularly in the UK who are interested in getting their surplus coins consigned to a heritage auction. The next big auction for world coins is in January, so any time during September and up to mid-October is a good time to get coins um, packaged up, sent over and consigned to heritage. So a few interesting coins there for consignment and they will go together with the ones that I already have waiting to go into the next auction in January. The interesting coin in this little package is one that uh, I really wanted to show you by itself, but um, no reason why you guys can't see it now as part of this auction consignment um, video. So this coin is ostensibly a double-headed coin also known as a brocage, although a brocage could be tails as well. But um, when I first saw this coin, I got really, really, really excited. Um, I've seen brocage coins of 
at the big auction houses and do pretty well. And I thought this was going to be one of those kind of opportunities. But um, if you look carefully at it, you'll see that all is not how it seems to be. So it seems to be some kind of George III coin. But if you look carefully down the center of the coin, um, sideways on, there's a very thin line around the, around the center, which is a casting line. And uh, what that means is that this wasn't made on a coin press, it was cast. And the George III head that's on one side was placed there by pressure coming up from the other side as a kind of repoussé kind of uh, kind of style. So it's it's designed as a fake brocage coin or a fake token. Um, no idea why or what it was used for. If any of you guys have any thoughts on the history of these kind of tokens, then let me know. I'd be really, really interested. For the best quality gold and silver coins, it's the coinconnection.co.uk with 2% discount code BEN all September. So there's still some time in September to use the, uh, the coupon code from the Coin Connection. And uh, quite a number of you guys do use that code regularly that I put out on the channel uh, every month so far. This next coin I wanted to show you, it's a coin I bought from eBay. Uh, it was sold on eBay as with a kind of strange description. So it's a 2017 proof sovereign, but it had in the coin description bullion. And you quite often see that where the seller is not confident to sell a coin, you know, as a glowing quality proof. And now... I, I hold it up to the light, you'll see exactly why it was sold as a bullion coin. Um, the pictures did not show this extent of handling on it. I mean, it is absolutely amazing to me that somebody could have bought one of these beautiful 2017 proof sovereigns and then taken it out and put great big fat thumbprints all over it like this. How a coin gets in this condition so quickly is beyond me uh, because the type of people normally buying this kind of coin uh, are buying it and know what it is and are taking care of it. So <laughs> it's a total mystery. Thankfully, I paid about maybe £300 under the going rate for this coin, which is uh, which a good thing. So uh, it pays for the grading and conservation. It didn't look like there was any real damage to this coin. So I'm hoping it'll come back as a pretty good grade coin after, um, after grading and conservation. If it comes back at a 68, it's still fine. If it comes back as a 69 or a 70, then... Um, it's worth about £300 more than I paid for it. Um, and I don't have one of these coins anymore, so it was nice to be able to pick this one up. Right, hopefully that one will do okay, and let's have a look at the next little package that's going to be unboxed here. So, in this little package we have two of the perennial channel favourites, Sovereigns. Sovereigns are still my all-time favourite. Um, I guess probably Sovereigns and maybe Proof Libertads are my kind of two favourite coins, and Sovereigns are probably a higher score. The sense of history and variety uh, and in terms of collectability. So uh, two very different modern Sovereigns, the uh, Victoria 200th birthday Sovereign with the little Victoria uh, monogram just by the left of the date. Only 650 of these coins were minted and I must have seen over a dozen of them in so far for grading at the moment. So uh, and I think they'll prove to be a, a pretty good buy. They're already ch changing hands for I suppose a, an absolute minimum of £650 compared to an issue price of £500. 
Um, some people might think in time these will go down to £100 less than their buy price, their raw mint price. Personally, I doubt it. I think there's going to be a good market for the next few years for these strike on the day coins and I can only see the market growing in many respects. Um, these have graded particularly well. I think I've had one 69 but all the rest so far have been 70 so there's a good probability of getting a 70 grade with this coin. The 2012 one that you saw before uh, also they've been getting a pretty good grade although I have graded one or two bought as bullion versions of that coin recently and one got a 67 which was a little bit low. I hope you like the uh, video snippets of Sydney and uh, if you didn't then I hope you managed to find the coin content in this video and didn't go uh, straight past it on to something else but please like subscribe and let me have your comments.